stop comparing me to Michael Jordan. He's Michael Jordan. I'm my own basketball player, so whatever I do, I do. But yeah, I'm nowhere near Michael Jordan. No more comparisons. Yeah. Uh, but if that era was today, do you feel like MJ could guard you? Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, what now? Blue? Yeah, he said the right things, but even he didn't mean that. <laughs> he's listen, got a lot going on, bro. He's got a lot going on. Yeah, he's a busy man. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to stay away from it, but what I will <laughs> say is we are in a competitive business. This is a competitive sport. He didn't say anything wrong. He should feel like nobody can guard him, but it was a lot of bravado in that. He, know, he knows what he said. That's yeah, it. you you have to you have to say that, right? If I'm going up against KD or Kobe or LeBron, I'm not just gonna say they're gonna bust my ass, right? I'm gonna think I'm going in there and I'm having a great game. So, like like Lou said, though, you could hear just a little bit of joke, a little bit of doubt when he said it, but you have you have to say that. What are you gonna say? No, like oh, he would clamp me. Like no, no, no competitive human being in the NBA <laughs> is going to ever say that, or else you are whack. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. How about he? He had more. Like he's he's been saying a lot. There's uh, more. There's man. more going there's, on. With there's him. more to that. The man's very busy. <laughs> Chill, um, man. Here he is on LeBron. He's been the best player in the world for a long time. So I think that's the main person I want to cook. Him or KD? Oh, no, these guys are both playing. See, that's the difference. MJ's done and been done for a long time, but LeBron and KD are still out there. Is this a wise move? Yeah, I like it. I, I like it. And this is this is this is his edge. This is his humor. This is I feel like he's always saying funny stuff like this. But yeah, to be the best, you got to you got to beat the best. And those two guys have been at the top of the league for a really, really long time. And Anthony Edwards is this name that's kind of on the rise, um, who's becoming one of the I think he's the best two way player, honestly, in the NBA right now. Um, so yeah, I love his confidence and to be this good and to get this far as he has, you, you have to be confident. So I, I love it. I, I love him. I love everything. Mostly everything about him. <laughs> Fair enough. Lou, Kevin Garnett on Draymond. Uh, I actually think the organization is afraid to go talk to him and be real. They're afraid of this man. Do you agree with that? No, I, I disagree. KG, KG huh. is from the old school where every once in a while, private conversations are going to get leaked to the media or it's going to be a big deal on Sports Center. We are now living in, in, in a place where the Golden State Warriors have always kept their business tight and in house. Even when he punched Jordan Poole, it was a big to do when that, that footage got leaked because they've always done such a great job of dealing with their issues in the house. And so, I think there has been a conversation with Draymond. I think there's been several conversations with Draymond. We just haven't been privy to them. And so I, I disagree with KG. For sure, Draymond has been addressed. It's been talked about as a team. It's been talked about as a unit. And we should just move forward. It is an interesting read, though, because sometimes it does feel like maybe they're not talking to him, not harshly enough, but seriously enough because he keeps doing it. But I guess this is the time we're going to find out. Um, Chandler, Kevin Durant said that Jalen Brunson would be a, quote, Hall of Fame player by the end of his career the way he's playing. Do you agree? I mean, yeah, he's, he's got to do it for about, you know, eight to ten more years at this level. But he, he's on the right path. And this is a guy who, man, looking back to with Cuban and Dallas, I don't know how you don't re-sign this guy for $55 million or whatever you could have got him for is outrageous. He – he is a perennial all-star. He is a go-to guy. He is the number one, number two option on a very, very good team. Uh, and what's crazy is he's not one of those guys with this crazy potential, right? Not one of these big names. Uh, Villanova, he was great, but he's always just been solid. He is who he is. He's not going to blow you away with athleticism or speed, but he's so solid. He can knock down shots. He plays pick and roll. He does everything you want your point guard to do. So uh, I think he's on the right trajectory. I think he's unbelievable. Um, and I think think he's you know the only bright spot moving forward on this Knicks roster that's going to be there for a really really long time I love that this is happening all right Lou this one's a good one Trey Young said on if he didn't get hurt during the 2021 Eastern Conference Finals quote I ain't gonna lie we definitely would have won our first chip you were on that team do you believe that Cappuccino <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen, I'm I, I'm with Trey, and and oh, the stop. reason. What now? Uh, listen, the the reason being is because we really felt like we couldn't lose at that at that point. We were shooting the ball well, and all you know these things are about is about timing. We felt like we were peaking at the right moment. We were rolling at the right moment, and we had a really good groove, and we couldn't miss shots. And so, Trey having having that 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 sense of feeling like we could have won a championship, I was right there with him. Shit, I mean, why not? We were in the Final Four. You know, we were right there in the mix as well as anybody else. One thing that he left out that was that that's important for context. Giannis also missed two games in that series as mm. well as 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 Trey missing some games, and so. I felt like that was a series that anybody could have won and could have went on to the uh, to the championship. So him having that feeling, it's not as far it's it's not as outlandish as it sounded. But I, I don't I don't know if we'd have went that far. But we had an opportunity just like everybody else dealing with the circumstances. So uh, I'm on the fence. Chandler, did did any of that convince you? Those words. I mean, sure. Every team, I guess, when you make it that far, every team you think you think you have a chance, right? Like if you're if you're in the semifinals or the finals of the of your conference, yeah, you think you have a chance. But to say with that confidence that you were, <laughs> you didn't, you, like you didn't. So I don't, no, I'm not rolling. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Shane Sharp, here we go. He was asked about the Blazers once they all get healthy. Quote: I think we have something special here. They're six and nineteen. Uh, but it is a trick question, right, Chandler? Like, what are you supposed to say? What? <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. It could be Detroit. It could be. Uh, here we go. That's three. That's three strikes. No, so hold on. Wait, show. wait, wait. So, so you're rolling with this? No. Can I finish, oh, Lewis? My Can bad. I my finish bad. Finish, Lewis. <laughs> I don't think it's this bright, crazy future like San Antonio. I don't think it's okay, oh, okay. OKC in a couple of years. But when you look at the pieces, the Scoot Hendersons, the DeAndre Aytons, the the Anthony Simons, they have talent. But as as far as that translating to a good team anytime soon, and no, no, not at I all. I feel but, better about their talent than the set than San Antonio's talent. Oh, uh, what the hell? No. You're, you're you're nuts. As, as, a, as an as an entirety, uh, you didn't even mention Anthony Simons. Like he's I think that I four think guys Calden, are going to be better than any four that the San Antonio Spurs got right now. I just I think Wimbenyama, Vassell, and Kel Johnson are better than anybody on the Trailblazers. Nah, we gonna have to. This is a this is another time. This is another segment. Oh we no, can, no, we can this is a great time. We have eighteen minutes left. Let's hear listen, it. I, no, it. Listen, I think listen out of out of out of out of the out of the four people on the on the Portland Trail Blazers that we mentioned, and out of the three guys that we've mentioned on the San Antonio Spurs, Anthony Simons is a proven hooper at this point. Everybody else is trying to figure it out. So with that alone, he gives me the edge. Yeah, but with that over Wimbenyama. Victor Wembanyama. Yeah. I'm taking Victor Wembanyama. Victor Wembanyama is four and everything else right now. So I'm no. taking him over anybody in the NBA for the future, let alone any of these Woo! cats on the Trailblazers. Hey, hey, Chandler, I'm going with six and nineteen before I go with four and twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> We're screwed either way if we want wins. But talking <laughs> potential. Well, I mean, potent- I love the kid Vassell, Kelton Johnson. He was on Team USA. He's proven like yeah. knock it off. Yeah. yeah. But we just talked about Shaden Sharp. At some point, Scoot Henderson is going to wake up. Anthony Simons is still the best player on that basketball team. <laughs> hey, they you still, still have Scoot, very... you still got Scoot as the rookie of the year? Or are you flip flop? <laughs> I'm out of there. Nah, 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 nah. I'm out of there. <laughs> Listen, at some point, he's going to wake up. But my How do you know year, that? You can't say that. It's a feeling. It's a vibe. So you so you don't have a feeling about the Spurs that at some point that's all going to get better and turn around. But you have it about no. I just I just think there's more pieces in Portland. We didn't so even we'll mention see. Sohan. We didn't even mention Sohan either, who's also going to be really well, good. Well, they don't even know what position he is. So why well, should he's not we? a point guard? We know that. <laughs> I'll tell you this: you know, barring a huge trade. Or anything else, the San Antonio Spurs will make the playoffs before the Portland Trailblazers in the near future. Boom. Mark I guarantee it. you that. I, 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 t- I take that I'll bet. T- I take a hundred dollar bet for it. Hey, mark this word. Oh, then you know what? I want Let's that. I want some too. Because there's no way, Chandler, you're the only one winning this bet. Lou's gonna pay. Obviously, obviously you're with the Spurs. So I'll take a hundred dollar bet with you as well. 
Yes. You know, that's the only way she'll ever agree with me is if I ride. The, <laughs> See, it's the only time this whole thing works, uh, man, that, that was a lot said on that. And I feel like we're going to dissect everything you guys just said on this tomorrow. 